Okay, so welcome to the Attack of the Pesky Robots tutorial where I'm going to show you how to actually play this game because a lot of people don't read the manual or um, they just they see the game in like uh, on another YouTuber's channel or on my channel and they see it being played but they don't really understand how it works. So I wanted to actually give a full tutorial for this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start the game on the first map, Research Lab. It's not the... Um, you know, most exciting map on the game, but it, it is the game or the map that um, most people start with. And, um, you know, so here we are, this little thing here, this is like supposed to be your lander, like your little spaceship that you land in. And um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is the first mistake that I see. Um, I, you know, I've watched people play this game both online and I've watched people at like uh, conventions. I'll have a booth with a computer set up and I'll watch people go over and the very first thing they do is they just, they see the screen and they just start wandering around. And um, the thing that I really can't figure out is, is I've seen this a hundred times. Like people will walk up and they'll see these doors here. And then they'll just turn around and walk away. And next thing you know, they're walking off through, you know, the forest or whatever, like walking around for whatever reason, <laughs> you know. And um, I don't really know why. Like why do they not want to go in the building? Uh, I don't get that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, what you want to do, uh, first of all, you want to search your lander. And um, as you can see, we found a pistol with uh, 100 ammo. And uh, so now you can shoot up, down, left, and right. And then, um, of course, these doors, you know, these are not locked. So you just walk right through them. And uh, I'm going to show you the next little secret here, like this uh, uh, desk. Go ahead and search the desk, and you will find a key card, right? And so that's appeared over there in the key inventory. Now, a lot of people, uh, this is the second mistake they're going to make. Um, time and time again, I've seen this. They're like, okay, they've got the pistol. They see a robot. So what do they want to do? They want to start shooting the robot. And of course, now the robot is going to attack you. And now you have to shoot it until you kill it. Now, as you can see, I lost a significant amount of health. Uh, look at my little guy down there in the bottom right corner. He's not very happy, and I've lost half of my health during that fight. So if you try to play the game like that, you're going to die like, really quickly because uh you know this this just it really isn't an action game this is a strategy game and uh so you know for example if you did want to shoot a robot with a pistol then you need to um do something like this for example uh whoops put something in between you and the robot now you can shoot the robot and it can't get you. Now, that's just one type of strategy you can use. Obviously, uh, it gets more complicated as you <laughs> go along. Um, so in here, we need to search these crates. And um, I think uh, one, good. one of these is a med kit. I'm going to go ahead and use it right now. Now, uh, I still have a little bit of med kit left over. So it doesn't always use the whole med kit. It only uses how much that you need of it. I'm going to move this crate out of the way. Now, this little green canister here. We'll talk about this more in just a moment. But let me go ahead and search these other crates. Okay, I found some time bombs, and what do we got here? Some more pistol ammo, and I don't think there's anything in this smaller crate. No, there's not. Okay, so these little canisters here are explosive. Uh, if you shoot one, they'll blow up. Uh, if you have multiple next to each other, there'll be actually a chain reaction. Now, we just have the one here, but you don't ever want to let these go to waste. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in here. There we go, and I'm going to step back, and I'm going to shoot it. And see, that robot has been successfully taken care of. Now over here, uh, what we have here is the evil bot. Now this guy is, um, he's hes not docile like the other ones. hes He wants to attack you immediately. And uh, so does that roller bot there. So um, this guy here is really hard to kill. And we'll, um, well, I'll show you how to deal with him in a minute. Um, for the moment, I'm actually gonna skip by this roller bot. I do not want to engage him at the moment. We'll go up here. That door was locked, but I had the key for it. And there's another key in here that I need to get. Okay, I got that. And I think there's something. Yep, yeah, another med kit up there. And I think there's even some more pistol ammo in here. You know, and that's the thing. Like, you really need to search everything. But obviously, as you play the game over and over, you start to learn. You know, just, just like with a first-person shooter like Duke Nukem 3D or Doom or whatever, you're going to learn where things are. And you're not going to have to search everything every time you play. And uh, obviously I know where everything is since I've played this like a bajillion times. I happen to know that there's another med kit in there. So I got <laughs> quite a bit. And I've got a magnet in here. 
Now, I want to show you how to use these things. So the magnet, um, I'm going to use that on this. There's a roller bot up here. I'm not going to let him shoot me because he's going to, well, okay, he shot me anyway. So the magnet, I'm going to switch to the magnet here. Um, I'm just going to go over here in a blank area. You can push space to use the magnet, and then you can select any location next to you where you want to lay it. So you can lay it right there. And uh, all you got to do to pick it back up is just walk right over and you pick it back up. Um, so ideally, what you'd want to do is place it in the path of a robot. And there we go. <laughs> so that robot is now completely incapacitated. Now, um, unfortunately, when they're out in the open like this, it does make them a little bit hard to shoot. Uh, it's better to use that maybe in a confined space. Um, but it's also best to really use the magnets uh, on really powerful robots. Uh, that way they're put to better use. And the roller bots here, for example, are ones that are really difficult to deal with. Uh, so I'm going to put that magnet there. And uh, I'm actually going to use a second magnet on them. There we go. And the reason for that is, if you use two magnets on the same robot, uh, he's incapacitated indefinitely. If you just use one, he'll recover after about uh, 20 seconds or something like that. So <clears throat> now I'm going to block him in by moving these chairs. And then I'm going to show you how to use the bomb, right? So you got 12 time bombs here. Obviously, there's more on the map. We'll pick up here in a little bit. Uh, now, the way they work is, um, well, I'm just going to walk over here and just drop one uh, away from a robot for a moment. So it's the same thing. You just push space to use it, and then you select where you want to put the bomb. So I'm going to put it over to my right, and I'm going to step away from it. And there it goes. It blows up. You can actually put more than one bomb. Uh, like, I can put two of them. Right? So you can actually lay down as many as four of them uh, simultaneously. And it actually takes two bombs to kill a roller bot. And they do blow up the chairs, so as soon as I blow up the chairs, the roller bot will be freed from his little uh, prison he's in at the moment. So I'm actually going to drop two bombs here, and then I'm going to go back and check, and sure enough, roller bot is gone. So I've got another roller bot down here, and I'm going to show you. There's, you know, you know, the thing about this game is there's a hundred different ways to solve any particular problem, and just because I show you one way to do it doesn't mean there's not. Um, you know, a bunch of other ways that you can do things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the plasma gun out of here and the EMP here. And I'll show you how to use those in a moment. But for the moment, I want to show you these, um, what I'm going to do with these canisters. So um, I'm going to, now the, the trick with the roller body is stay out of his line of fire. So see, he can't actually shoot me um, in this situation. Oh, and before I use the canisters, I want to show you about this piece of equipment. This, even for uh, players who have played this game a lot, a lot of people underestimate the value of this piece of equipment. The manual just calls it scientific equipment. And it doesn't really do anything, but you can move it around, and it is also impervious to weapons fire. So watch this. I can move it out here. Look at that. The roller bot, in fact, I'll stand on the other side of it. The roller bot actually can't shoot me through it. I can actually... <laughs> I can actually use this... I Kind of trap a roller bot and see a roller bot is kind of like a rook on chess and you know in that he only can affect um tiles that are you know either vertical or horizontally aligned with him so for example if i wanted to blow him up right here i could drop two um bombs next to him and there you go but i could have also taken care of him with these canisters um and the way you would have done that i'm, I'm not going to restart the game to show you but basically you would just move these out and then stand behind the door, and he would walk by and shoot it and blow himself up. Of course, it takes two explosions to kill a roller bot, so you'd have to do that twice, but there's three canisters in here, so that wouldn't be uh, a big deal. Now, speaking of, I'm going to show you the um, uh, the chain reaction thing I was talking about. So I'm going to shoot uh, one of these down here, and you'll see it, it blows up the other one. And there's Sometimes you'll find rooms with 20 of those in there. And if you do find a room with like 20 canisters in it, then one of the things you might want to do is lure a robot into that room um, and then use the EMP or a magnet on him to lock him in that room and then blow up all the canisters while you are, you know, on your way out. Uh, I can't demonstrate that in this map, but uh, there's a lot of maps that have a room full of canisters and you can absolutely use that. But um, I want to show you this trash compactor here. Now, pretty much anything 
that goes into this trash compactor will be destroyed, including if I if you walk into that, it'll it'll crush you as well, and the game's gonna be over. But what if you could get that evil bot to walk into that that um, <laughs> that trash compactor? Uh, it takes seven explosions to kill the evil bot, and he can kill you almost immediately. It only takes uh, just <laughs> being in contact with an evil bot uh, very rapidly will end your life. So um, it would be ideal if you could get the evil bot to walk into there. And there's a variety of ways you can do it. You can, uh, for example, move objects. Like I could go in here and get some of these objects, uh, some crates and chairs and stuff, and I can actually make like a little wall kind of and actually trick him uh, to walk past, uh, to get stuck in there that way. But actually an easier way to do it is just to use the EMP. So before I use the EMP on the evil bot, I'm going to use it on just something else, um, real quick, just to show you how the EMP works. So like, here's a regular robot. Um, I'm going to push the space bar to activate the EMP and it says nearby robots are rebooting. So it'll basically freeze any robots for, you know, five to seven seconds. Um, it gives you time to either attack them or get away from them or move something or whatever. Well, you know, uh, and it doesn't matter how many robots on the screen. There could be 20 robots on the screen. The EMP will freeze them all. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this on the evil bot. Now, I could freeze him and attack him with the plasma gun, which, by the way, I haven't shown the plasma gun. So I'm going to switch to the plasma gun. And so uh, let me just show you how that works. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a much more powerful um, weapon. Um... I will, in fact, demonstrate it on this guy. So, in fact, uh, there you go. Whoops, I missed. And I missed again. Well, I'm going to waste all my time. There we go. One shot will take care of a hover bot like that. Um, it would take seven shots from the plasma gun to take care of the evil bot. So, uh, anyway, back to the evil bot. The best way to take care of him is I'm going to just let him out by walking up to the door and then... EMP, he's frozen. Now I'm going to run up here and I'm going to run out of the building and around over here. And there we go. And notice it says you're terminated at the bottom. <laughs> so the evil bot is taken care of. Um, also, um, I'm going to run over here. I happen to know that there's some bombs down here. Um, in a little special crate and a lot of the maps have little stuff like that hidden around you have to uh, explore for them although alternatively you can open the map and look for little yellow dots and that's you know could be potentially something that uh, might be of value but uh, often isn't <laughs> all right uh, wooden bridges while we're here i want to show you a little thing about that so if you have an explosion on a wooden bridge i'm going to drop a bomb here for example it will destroy the bridge. You can't go across it anymore. So you have to be real careful if there's a, a robot on a wooden bridge and you need to get over that bridge, you're going to have to find another way to kill the robot or at least don't kill him while he's on the bridge or at least don't kill him while you still need to go over the bridge. So you just need to be aware of that. All right. So now I want to show... Uh, what do I need to show next? Uh, EMP. I want to show one more little trick with the EMP. We're going to have to go down... To the swimming pool Now, there's only one robot in here but on some maps there will be multiple hover bots hovering over water and I'm gonna go to the EMP now uh, watch what happens when I use the EMP he falls into the water and he electrocutes himself <laughs> and he dies now that's kind of a waste of an EMP just to use on a hover bot but on some of the later maps um, especially when you're playing in hard mode it's possible to trick you know, I've, I think I've had as many as 15 robots over the water at one time. You hit the EMP and you've just taken out 15 robots with one EMP. Suddenly, that's a very good use of an EMP. So, uh, let's take care of these robots in here right quick. I'm just going to use the bombs for this. I'm just going to kind of lay them right there in the path of the robot. And I'll take care of them. Okay. Usually if you just step two steps away from the bomb, you're usually pretty safe from its effects. Um, all right. Now there are some robots outside the building we need to go deal with. And this is where I wanted to show you something else. So another way to attack robots is, I know I showed you a chair earlier, but there's all kinds of things you can put between you and a robot. Uh, so in this particular case, um, there's a robot in here, and I'm going to shoot it through this fence. 
as soon as he comes back. There we go. All right, so now he's mad. He wants to attack me, and uh, but he can't get through the fence, and I can just shoot him all day long. In fact, I don't even have to shoot him. I could drop a bomb here next to the fence and take care of him that way. You can also shoot through windows. So I already killed these robots, but if there were still robots in there, you could shoot them through the window like that. And again, be safe. Uh, like I said, it's all about strategy. It's not about... Um, not about, uh, uh, you know, it's not like arcade skill, right? I mean, this is not, uh, not it's not Commando, it's not Robotron. Uh, it's all about thinking about how you want to take care of each robot. So I'm going to drop this bomb right here. There we go, that one's taken care of. So, we only got a couple more left on this map. And here we go. And I think, uh, okay, no, we can't shoot through this. Some some types of plants you can shoot through and some you can't. I can't always remember which ones they are. If I can tell you what, we'll finish him off with the plasma gun. Oops, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> and same thing here. I'm just going to finish him off. And I think, um, oh, by the way, I don't know how I got myself so injured. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, I... Can't remember if there's something in here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think I've killed all the robots anyway. Uh, let's see. The Amiga version doesn't actually tell you. But, yep, the transporter is active. So, yeah, that about wraps it up for this map. Now, um, I'm going to briefly... So, uh, let's, let's go ahead and walk in here. There we go. Game's over. And at this screen, you'll uh, see... Okay, there was two secrets remaining. I actually know where they were, but I, I didn't really need them. Uh, it took me 16 minutes. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and pick map number four real quick just because I want to show you two things. Uh, one are uh, rafts. So uh, you can see on the map here, the little white dots, those are the rafts. And uh, they'll come here and pick you up. You just jump on the raft. And then it will take you to another place. So, okay, but we're going to go back. And uh, this uh, map also has an elevator in it. And so, yeah, basically you just walk into the elevator. And uh, this particular map has three floors. Some of them have as many as five. You just use the left and right arrows to, uh, to pick, uh, you know, to pick which, uh, which level you want to go on. Uh, this one also has a roof level. And the other interesting thing about this map is, uh, I know I said earlier that hoverbots, they generally don't attack you unless you attack them first. But it is possible to program a hoverbot to be in attack mode, um, you know, from the beginning, and uh, these certainly are, and uh, rats, I uh, <laughs> I didn't even have a weapon yet, so uh, anyway, as you can see, they're going to attack me, so uh, yeah, some ho some hoverbots are in attack mode, not very many, but you'll, you'll occasionally find some that are, so just be aware of that, and I think uh, hopefully this gives you an idea of what the game's about, uh, it's a strategy game, it's got a little bit of first person shooter created in a two dimensional environment, a little bit of Ultima, a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything kind of mixed in, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, as long as you don't go around trying to shoot everything, uh, <laughs> then uh, you know spend your time searching for stuff, um, figure out how to use all the different weapons and tools available to you, and uh, you know you'll see that it's um, it's uh, it's a strategy game. So anyway, um, hope this helps out uh, for some of the people out there that are um, not quite sure how this game's supposed to be played, and uh, even though this is the Amiga version I'm showing right here. The gameplay and the maps are absolutely identical across all versions, including the pet version. So, um, um, so anyway, so that about wraps that up.